Okay, we're doing something a little different today. We're doing a three-way soul link. Uh, if you don't know what a soul link is, probably read the description of the video. Uh, but essentially, it's it's a Nuzlocke where encounters are linked between the players, and should one of the linked Pokemon die, all of the linked Pokemon die. So if our starter dies, everybody's starter dies. That's essentially the deal. And then if they're uh, going to be on the team for one of us, they have to be on the team for all of us. Um, so we're kind of simultaneously building teams out of linked Pokemon. Now, Wait, we're keeping that rule? Yes. That's God that's a core rule of soul linking. Um, so, starter selection. Yeah, that's right, you cretins. You wanted to fucking tune in for Draftlock? Well, Draftlock is dead and gone. So you're just going to have to sit here, be disappointed, and watch soul link. Temporarily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, we'll do Draftlock again. but Yeah. Just to have the itch to try one of these at some point. So, uh, in draft lock, we used a certain set of starters. Do we want to not explicitly use those this time? Like, do we want to mix it up, or how do we want to handle starter selection? Wait, like, um, mod it? No, no, I mean, like, you don't get to use Turtwig because you used Turtwig and draft lock, that kind of thing. Oh, oh I, I, don't, never... I don't think it matters this time. Yeah, I was never putting that stipulation on myself. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, so what starters do you guys want to use? Turtwig. Alright. Do you want to use <laughs> Piplup, Joe, or do you want to mix it up with I, I would prefer to use Piplup, but right. if, if you'd rather That's not fine. use Chimchar again, I'll use Chimchar. No, I'm fine with that. We can. Use, I'll use Chimchar here. Okay, cool. I'll fight harder on some other Pokemon sets. <laughs> yeah, we gotta have some drama and make it interesting for the viewers. Fuck? The thousands of viewers. Yes. Oh, my fan wants to fucking fight. Okay. Right. And regarding the Nuzlocke rules, it's basically you set your own Nuzlocke rules. Um, so just the only thing that matters is the basic Nuzlocke rule of death. I Level caps essentially have to be enforced in order for us to stay paced. Um, but beyond that, you can play on set mode or switch mode. You can use items if you want. I'm playing hardcore. You guys are going to get my fucking team build and it's killed and it's going to suck. And we are playing with checkpoint rules. Just in the interest of not having to replay the game six times over or something. Is that part of hardcore normally? Is no, like no. Checkpoints instance? Checkpoints is a thing that we do. That's not even usually a rule anybody does. I've never seen anybody play with checkpoints. Well, Markman knocked me out, so. <laughs> and run over. Yeah, I'm about to lose yeah, too. Everybody. God damn it, I also lost. I won. <laughs> I have the level lead. Gary, you're just, you're going to kick our asses this run. In no, a cooperative <laughs> No, I'm not. I lost but like one HP. I needed a crit at some point. Or to not get growled. Did, okay, so the battle animations went super fast for you guys, right? Oh, we, we have uh, HP so bar speed up. Which we shouldn't notice until late game, but... I, I, I think there's a lot of stuff that's just sped up in this. In okay, I'm game. just... I'm trying to make sure that my emulator isn't just, like, cranked up, and I don't think it is. Yeah, I, I think it's... I think some of the stuff is inherently sped up. I think that's true. Okay, yeah. so the next time we need to sync up is at what, the first gym? Uh, there's a rival fight that matters. Um, that's outside the big city on the way to the first gym. We should probably sync up there, but we'll also sync up roughly for encounters too. Okay, so we should probably do a checkpoint save after picking starters, yes? Uh, Just so yeah, we once that. we once we die, which we will, uh, we won't have to start all the way back. Yeah, that's totally reasonable. Okay. Oh, did we not get the opportunity to nickname our? It's moms? later for this one. Oh, I forget. That that's one. a platinum thing in general. It's you have to go back and visit the the professor again. Uh, that yeah. is I'm at the lake now. An abomination. Yeah, I'm also you should the lake. be able to name it as soon as you get it. Oh, also, uh, you should look at your starter and see what ability you got, because you can get the hidden abilities. Really? Oh, because Renegade. Yep, I did not get hidden ability, I got Blaze. No, nope, I got fucking Torrent, so he's just a bone vanilla ass, boring ass starter. I 
gotta move that. Holy shit. Okay, now I have to go to the town? Yeah. So, um, I will also <laughs> mention... <laughs> I got shell armor. Nice! Oh, fuck yeah. That's very cool. Just for you guys to already have killed my starter. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> So my this, conservative the... play style is going to be completely wasted on you, dumb fucks. Yeah. Sorry about it. It'll, it'll work out, maybe. <laughs> no, not when you guys are getting more team members of me killed. This, yeah, this Drayano thing is, uh, I'm, I'm not sure yet I'm doing hardcore. Yeah, it, it's, it's not, like, super difficult, but it is increased over base game. Yeah, like, one of the things that all I can think about here is, uh, Jesse and his fucking sack fly mons. Just... Oh, yeah. That, well, yeah, sack mons are a little bit, uh, a little bit harder to use consciously, or conscientiously in a, uh, a soul link. <laughs> yeah, take note when you, uh, pick out which mons are sack mons, if... Garrett and I were really excited and happy to get something right. at the same time. No, I'll definitely discuss any sacks before it happens. Uh, don't go past the second town. There's a rival fight. Okay. That's not in base game. It's just the third starter, but it's at level nine. So make sure your starter is like nine or ten before you go past the first town. Gotcha. Okay, I got a nickname for my monkey. That's where I'm at. Uh, how do we want to handle nicknames on the starters? I mean, I figured we'd just be... Oh, this would have been a good one for music because we have enough different tastes. Well, so it's a bummer we use that already. What I suggested is we do a different nickname theme for every set, so we could do, you know, like bands here or something, and name each of them after a band. Which I'd have to not do Prodigy again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. And then we can just pick a different thing every single time. Yeah, yeah then we should be able to context easily tell which ones are paired because we'll have the the clue of the theming of the nicknames. Also start a Fair. spreadsheet oh after the first session to uh, track our encounters, too. All right. Well, Starter, we got to do favorite band, right? Let's not do necessarily it. favorite. Let's, do it. Well, let's see if it fits. What's a fire-themed band or an ape monkey primate-themed band? Jawbreaker just fits. Hold on a second. Names are hard. I'm gonna have fun. Uh, we should rotate um, who picks what the theme is every single time. That'd be interesting because I'm gonna pick some really stupid shit. We could do that as yeah. long as there's enough naming ideas for all of us. And well, you're mine's not just gonna naming be like our guys. Mine's gonna be like CPU manufacturers for the next one. So we get I've... fucking Intel. AMD and Qualcomm. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, it's a kitty. He's making what you, noise. What did you guys go with for your band names? I'm, still, for I'm still trying to come up with something because I don't want to use Prodigy again. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used bands as in a, one of our draft blocks, so I'm wide open for that. I've just used songs. All right, I'm just going to go with favorite band. Fuck it. We're going with Fleshfield for the monkey. Yep. Which fits, but can't have a space. All right, Dawn just told me a whole bunch of shit, and I wasn't paying attention. So I think she told me I can buy Pokeballs, which I just did. Well, Queens of Stone Age would never fucking fit, so quotes out of the Turtwig it is. I figured you'd either do Queens or quotes out. Yeah. I, I saw it yesterday. I was, like, on my way to tell you about the new song that they released. Oh, because oh, Jesse, yeah. uh, Sam's brother, posted about it. And I'm like, yep. I'm sure Garrett knows it about it already, but I'm going to tell him anyway. And then I saw it on Spotify. You were listening to it. Yep. Yeah, I, oh, uh, Pokemon, <clears throat> I right even... Now passed up doing a or listening to a leak of it because uh new zealand's apple <laughs> store released it at midnight of their oh. day so 
got it. So that was, uh, I, I'm like, no, I don't need to listen to the, the, the couple day early leak version. I'll just listen to it when it comes out in a couple days. Then the next day it'll be out on the music video, another Liam Lynch video, good shit, good weird shit. Oh, interestingly, I don't get the IVs for my Pokemon. Maybe because it's a ROM hack? Oh, in Pokelink? Okay. Hmm. So, I'm on Route 202. I guess we gotta do the catching tutorial first. Oh, that the rival fight's over there. Oh. It, oh, oh, yeah, because this counts no, as the second she, uh, round, doesn't she, it? She didn't fight me. Mark she, uh, fight, probably. It, Oh, Don uh, pushed me back, and I think t told me to go talk. Oh, to my talk mom to your mom. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So after you talk to your mother, then she rival fights you at level nine. Your mom? <laughs> your Don? That'd Don. be pretty cool. Right. Okay, but we still can't catch anything, right? Uh, you can get balls, right? Yeah, you can buy balls. Yeah, so you can catch uh, shit on the first route right after the first town. Balls okay, are also so... discounted. They're fifty bucks a piece. They are very oh, cheap. Nice. I like this. I bought twenty of them. Yeah. We're doing, we're just counting gift mons as separate encounters than the zone they're found in. So we get a lake encounter and we get a route encounter. Okay. All right. Oh, so... she's giving me Eevee too. Yeah, and you get an Eevee from the your mother's house. Mom? Yeah. Okay. So we'll all get an Eevee. Uh, you get the stone before the first gym uh, oh, in the mine. So we can pick which evolution we want to use for the link Eevees then. Nice. Cool. So should we get our route one, our first route encounter? Let's do the Eevees what? first, since okay. Joe's already got his. So we need a nickname yeah. theme for the Eevees. Whose turn is it to pick? It's Joe's. Well, we'll it? do CPU manufacturers then. Okay. So I'll I'll be Qualcomm because that's a, an interesting name for a Pokemon. Right. What were the other options? You can do Intel, AMD, Motorola, Apple. Apple does their own silicon now. Or just Google a uh, list of CPU manufacturers. Get real, real creative with this one. Motherfuckers. I already know what my next theme is going to be just because fuck <laughs> Joe. <laughs> yes. Yes. I want it to be weird. Right. I'm going I'm to do Intel then. That sounds more like a name. At least it makes sense for... Okay, I'm gonna. I I'm glad that the one that I thought of is on here. That makes it easier. What that? Nvidia. Lax. Oh, okay. Yep, that's a good one. That's what I use, so it's like, might as well. Just I think. Maybe that's my video card. Maybe Nvidia is my video card. But uh, they still. they make CPUs as well. They made CPUs right. for uh, Android phones actually. For uh, I they probably still do, but they were one of the first big. Uh, chipset manufacturers for Android phones. When does she give me the Eevee? She's still not giving it to me. Oh no, it gave me the Eevee now. Okay. Yep. I'm not, I haven't been reading because the text goes so fast and I'm trying not to slow everybody down this time. I already have a problem with not reading the text and now it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Alright, I'm waiting out the grass for you to name me yep. Eevee. Just okay, got there. Eevee, Eevee's named, running to the grass. So we have the poker radar. This is a good time to talk about that. The, oh, po the poker radar there. is normally post game, but you get it right away now. Hey Brady, how's it going? Brady. Oh, so, to use the poker radar, you step into the grass, use the radar, it'll make some tiles shake, and those tiles have a chance at an extra encounter, um, which is covered in the documentation that came oh. with the files I sent. So let's yeah, look at the documentation for the encounters. I don't have the Poké. Oh, wait, there it is. Never mind. There's some key items, of course. Yeah. Hey, Pretty do they do... Is there something with EXP share in there? This? All right. You get an EXP share coming up pretty soon, I think. And it's still, like, just the... It, it's Hel not whole Held team. item version, yeah. That has okay, been classic. changed. There's, um, there's a set grinding area with chances that are refightable uh, later on. I'm not quite sure when that comes up, but I know it's in the game. So, Route 201, Poker Radar is Dodo -do Duo. The regular encounters are Starly, Bidoof, Pidgey, Cricketot, Nidorans. Hmm. Or Hoot Hoot at Night, replacing Pidgey. Oh, eh. I don't really care about... Do Duo is the only radar one? Yeah, so use oh, the radar. Oh, okay. It changes the encounter table, so you have a 22% chance of Do Duo, basically. 
if you step on, on the, the shaking, shaking tile. Yeah. yeah. I, I did mine, but now I'm finding out it's a Doduo, I don't really want it so much. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd Maybe rather so. fish for a Nidoran. I also like Nidoran, but I I would not mind Doduo or Starly. I really like both of those. Yeah, I'm going to so... do a regular encounter. Yeah, I mean... I'm going gonna... to go into it's the still... shaking. Okay. It's still Nuzlocke, right? Yep. Okay, so we can't really... You can only fish so much. Yeah, I I'm, what I mean by fishing is I mean, like, you in the encounter table towards what I want by not doing okay. a radar. Fishing's been Oh, the it's the doof. Okay, Pidgey, My encounter doof. is Pidgey, yep. Okay, I got a Pidgey, so I have to reroll for a legal encounter. Fucking... I'm gonna just kill this for XP. The doof. Yeah, doof, doof was also one I would, wouldn't mind, because I need a water type. I, I just like Doof. But it's a... Middle Ran Mail! Thick! Noise. Alright, I'm just gonna chuck balls. Premier Ball, get in the Premier Ball. Yeah, this fucker's broken out of five balls. Right. He might make me drop hardcore in this fight. <laughs> if I even have a potion, I don't know if I have a potion. Luckily, my Badoo just keeps growling at me, so... Jesus. Man, I got the Nidoran in the first ball. <laughs> Why is Pidgey the one that's my being an asshole? My god. No, Bidoof too. Bidoof, I, I think, I'm one of my four or five balls. Jesus. Uh, four yeah, ball, I've, used, I've ball used six so far, and he's broken out of them. Dude. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay, I just <laughs> finally caught him. I'm fucking, I'm attacking this guy. Christ. Yeah, he should be able to take one hit. I don't know about Absorb. Oh yeah, he's not water type. He's normal. Absorb is No, fire. yeah. He doesn't get a water until yeah. he's barrel. Yeah, you could safely absorb him down. So. Yep. There. Oh, this is my mine uh, uh, uh nickname theme, huh? Is it? I haven't got mine yet, Oh, asshole. was yours bands? Was bands Jesse. Wait, no, I, I, I wasn't suggesting. Oh wait, bands. was it Oh. Okay, then I guess I take the bands credit. That's fine. Okay. I okay. didn't mean to suggest. I didn't mean to say that was it. I was actually just oh. throwing out. Was that you? We, we can use that. It was Jesse who said it. We we could no. I. I, I think I said it, but I didn't mean it like that. But we just oh. kind of ran with it. We can that count was, that uh, as a freebie. This can be Garrett's round if, if you want to. No, no, no. I, I'd rather save it for a better naming scheme than Badoof. So okay. I'm cool with waiting. Sure. Uh, all right, naming theme for this. We got a Pidgey. We got a, a Beaver, and we got a weird. All rabbit. this. I wasn't even looking at that. I was looking at the mm -hmm. fact that we got all these fucking basic bitch, early baby bitch things, and as Jesse would say. All right, I'm gonna do uh, uh, three stooges. Mm, yeah. I Did you say three stooges? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Everybody pick a stooge. So, so can I have Mo? Just because. Yeah. The, the I'm not gonna. Parallel. I won't. I won't contest it. Right. Okay. Jesse? Uh, what do you think Bidoof is? Is Bidoof more of a Larry or a Curly? <laughs> I was actually going to throw a curveball and name him Shemp. Ah. Yeah, I don't know actually that much about the Three Stooges. It's just the first thing that comes to mind when I think of a trio. Yeah, I'm going with Shemp. Okay. I don't know anything about the Three Stooges, but I know Mo is a Simpsons character, and I like the Simpsons. I'm gonna go Larry because it makes me happy because of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. <laughs> oh the yeah, yeah. Best trainer in all Pokemon. Larry is pretty great. All right, Larry, what do you do, friend? Guys, we got three Mons on our team already. Ooh, What's the first cap? We might Poison need them though. Uh, the first cap is sixteen. But we want to get up to like nine before we fight Dawn, right? Yeah, yeah. We can go All get right. another encounter in the uh, lake. To the lake. And oh, then, lake. then start yeah. grinding. At least the starter up to like nine or ten. Oh, and where are Eevee stones? The, in the... the mine before the gym. Yep. So they're past Dawn. Oh yeah, ways yeah, yeah. away. Yeah, You're you, you get them for a little while. I think you get them from the gym later. So you go down to the mine, you talk to the gym leader, you get the stone, and then he goes back to the gym. Ah. Uh. What if we wanted to push for um, what of the other Eevees does it have? They're all though? stones. You... Oh! Yeah, they're all changed to be stone Evos. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, the lake. The lake encounters, we're looking at... Poker Radar is why not? Mm. Uh, so probably no. 
Yeah, uh, Starly, Surskit, right Azaril, Psyduck, and Wingull are what's left. Bidoof was taken. Or was Starly taken? No, it was Pidgey. Pidgey. I mean, do we really... I guess it's good to know... The only thing we really need to know, I feel like, is our... Uh... Radar encounter? Yeah. Other than that, it's it's still a Nuzlocke, so we just all walk in and see what you get. Yeah, but I mean, it influences I mean... the decision to radar or not. Like, yeah, mm. that's what I mean, though. Like, warn us of the radar one, and then we decide to go in or not. Well, I mean, that's if good. I only knew the radar for the last round, I probably would have radared for Doduo, but I would have preferred a Nidoran. So knowing there was Nidoran is why I didn't radar. But is I it don't... more fun to not know anything and just <laughs> yeah, decide if you want a radar or yeah, not? That's fine. I I'm going to look because I'm already looking. That's fine. But yeah. if you guys only yeah. want to know the radar encounters, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I, I, I would know just radar. let us know the radar. Okay. Yep. All right, I'm going in. Yeah, I went in already. Uh, I got yep, Starly. I got Skip. Azuril. Okay. Oh, no so overlap. This, this might be really cool. Uh, I wonder did, if... Did they add Fairy to this or no? Yes. We have oh. Fairy and we have other type changes. Other type changes? Yeah. So Charizard is Fire Dragon. Ninetales is Fire Fairy. Golduck is Water Psychic. Farfetch'd is Fighting Flying. Meganium is Grass Fairy. Feraligator is Water Dark. Knocked Out is Psychic Flying. Ampharos is Electric Dragon, Mystery Abyss is Ghost Fairy, Sceptile is Grass Dragon, Masquerain is Bug Water, uh, Volbeat is Bug Electric, Illumise is Bug Fairy, Trampage, Vibrava, Flygon are Bug Dragon, Swablu, Altaria get Fairy, um, so Viper gains Dark, Melodic is Water Fairy, Glalie is Ice Rock, Love Disc is Water Fairy, the Luxray gets Dark type, Lopunny becomes a Fighting type, Normal Fighting. Um, Electivire against Fighting type and the Lake Lake Psychic type Legendary is our Psychic Fairy now. They're just Psychic. That is a really really good change. A lot of those, yeah. A lot of them. Some of them are just bringing down their Mega mode. Yep. And just uh, other ones. Just Dragon Flygon. That's that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. A few of them are logic beautiful. changes. A few of them are just doing the Megas because they're a little bit more interesting. And then some of them are fan voted, like um, Froligator and Meganium. All right, I got the what, Starling. What did Meganium get? Uh, fairy type. That makes sense. That's a pretty good Meganium change. Meganium having sense. fairy type is cool. I like that. I like that a lot, too. I like dark for alligator. I I dig it. That is it doesn't cool. completely line. It doesn't like 100%, but I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. There's also, no I, pure I, water types. I think Masquerade being bug water is a pretty good change, too, for you. Okay. Yes, I might, I'm actually kind of a little excited to have Surf's get now. Now I don't have to rely on fucking by barrel. <laughs> yeah. Although bug water will be a liability for the rock gym only. Because of yeah. The well, part um, of it will be, so okay, so I got my catch. Um, it's Jesse's pick. I did uh, Stooges, so this is Garrett's. Oh, Garrett's okay. Yeah. Right. Um, man, now I don't. Her early one and our catches were let's see, Surskit, uh, Azuril, and what? Starly. Starly. Mm, one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> oh, there we go. Muppets. Oh. Oh, okay. I got Doesn't have to be Sesame or any Muppet. All right. Not quite a any any Muppet either. puppet type um... thing. <laughs> including the Swedish chef. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we got to do Dr. Teeth. There you go. All right, I'm liking this rotating uh, pick the theme thing. I think we're in, it should be endless. Well, I don't want endless, but... What? I'm looking at a list of bird muffins. Armstrong oh. the Chicken Hawk. Alfred Duck. Baxter Bird. Bernice the Pigeon. Okay, he's got thick fat. That's that's fine. Not as good as huge power, but I'll take it. Toto. Whew. This is a lot of bird oh. moments, holy shit. Yeah. I'm 
Oh man, Cirs gets fighting. Yeah, it is. It's really fucking fighting for a Cirs kit. That's kind of bullshit. There we go. Fucking A. See, it's blue and it's... Yeah, no, I have to. I fucking have to. Even if Masquerin doesn't, like, keep the aesthetic, I Wait, can't name... Cookie Monster. <laughs> no, no, uh, Gonzo. <laughs> Gonzo, that makes more sense. Yeah. He's blue and he's got that uh, hook top, or like not hook nose, but like not quite beak thing going on top. So, hell yeah. Bidoof would have been more of a cookie monster, just uh, personality wise. I probably would have went with like Rolf or something like that. For I'm Bidoof. not familiar enough with Muppets. Was Rolf in Muppet Babies? Yes, he's the one that okay. plays piano. Okay. Muppet Babies is, like, the majority of my knowledge of Muppets. <laughs> I'm struggling to make a call on the bird. You guys can go ahead and start uh, leveling up and stuff. I'm already grinding. The Blue Blessed Party grind. Pigeon. Oh, wait. This, this chicken is familiar. Ah, Camilla the Chicken is the love of Gonzo's life. Let's yep. See. Camilla was one of my thoughts, but then I, I remember that it was just flying, so I didn't want that. Yeah, I'll be Camilla. This can be Camilla the chicken. First, we have Gonzo and Camilla. That'll be easy to remember. Yeah, I suppose when we lose something or... God, I just really don't like that boxing policy, though. That's going to be a pain in the ass. It's there. Part of the idea of soul linking is to make team comps really interesting because you got to compromise with the partners. Uh, Are we having... Is there a live life? dock here that we're we updating with the teams? Not yet. I meant, I meant to start one, but I didn't get it made. Okay. Um, then I need to start writing these down. Yeah, we could we could start that between uh, sessions, between between episodes. I mean. Right. right. Um, yeah. Let me see. Okay. Actually, I'll, I'll just wait on that. And keep my wait for a break. Down. Okay. Yeah. I'll wait for a break too. I I can't believe on Desmoon Mayor. I was or Desmoon, whatever we're calling it. Uh, that I left my insert and delete key for my uh, start and select. Like, holy shit. That's terrible. Yeah, I map all the uh, buttons except for the movement controls to the right hand um, numpad. The I, uh, I've lost, I've lost my n numerical keypad. I don't have one anymore on my keyboard because what? after... 14 long years, my uh, DOS keyboard professional S has taken a shit, and I'm now using a smaller keyboard that I had that does not have a numerical keypad. Oh, so it's just a matter of you haven't bought a new one yet, is all. Correct. Oh, okay. Well, I, I mean, it's, like it, this gonna... is a nice smaller keyboard that I have, so I'm kind of weighing at the moment if I want to just, like, get used to not using a numerical keypad, but... I have muscle memory of using one since having, like, my first five jobs using an adding machine. It's just, that's how I type numbers. Right, it's way more efficient for the majority of the time, so I'm shocked you're even contemplating that. Yeah, well, I mean, I like the extra space on my desk. That's, there's something to that, but man, I, I couldn't bring myself to do that. No, I'm probably gonna end up getting a new one, but... The other huge fucking thing is, I've been spoiled since my very first keyboard of the very first goddamn thing I bought ever, of I can't not have uh, media buttons. I have to have the ability to do my music without having to alter shift. I just need to be able to have a play, pause, backwards, forward, stop, whatever. I do, um, I've never had a keyboard with one. Well, no, I did, but that was like before really internet, any easily accessible music on the internet. Um, the Packard Bell that we had, the first Pentium computer we ever had, uh, was, uh, had media keyboard keys. The one thing that I think I would really like is to just have a volume knob on my keyboard. I have that as well. I have, but that's what I mean when I have my media keys, that's also in there, is like having a volume toggle. Like every keyboard I, if, well I mean I've had this keyboard, Jesus Christ, for 
probably close to a decade now. What is it? Uh, it is a Logitech G7110 Plus. And I've been very happy with it. The only thing that sucks is... Oh, goddamn, Starly, chill out. Uh, at one point, Melee did spill something on it, and I lost some use of a couple of keys, but it wasn't... Oh, I've seen this keyboard it. of yours, yeah. Okay. Yeah, for a really long time. But I, I just realized, my god, yeah, it's... I think next year it'll be a decade I've had this thing. Maybe it's about time to just be like, yeah, I could probably upgrade. Wouldn't hurt. Let's well, think of keyboards, you know. You know. As long as they work, they're not really something you need to upgrade. Right. And it, the thing is, it would be nice to have a couple of those keys back. I'll admit. It does look... I, I like the way that the media keys are laid out on there. I wouldn't want, like, a fucking weird layout. I mean, just ha having them be half-sized in a row like that is... That would not bother me at all, and I'd probably use them. Yep. Kitty, where'd you go? Just making all sorts of noise, and then now he's nowhere to be found. My god, these Starlies hit like a fucking truck. They're terrible for grinding. Oh shit. Like, one Starly kill is pretty much cleaning out my entire team every time. Yeah, it's I'm terrible. grinding up my starter first, and then I'm gonna grind other things up so I have the swap in option to something. Pretty, well, my starter's goofy. already the safe swap in, but I'm trying to get levels on my other stuff, and yeah. these Starlies keep fucking everything up. I've literally only managed to fight two Starlies so far. You know your Eevee comes with bite. Yes, it is nice. I, I'm grinding the Eevee right now. Covet, and it covet's is, more damage, because it's normal type. What, what is, how much is, is Covet 60? Yeah, 60 base. Oh. Did not know that, I will... Uh, also a chance to steal up. some items if anything has anything on that route. I can't even have my fucking window open right now. Are you guys picking that background noise up? I don't notice anything. There's some some fucking jackass is just going to town on their... Uh, apparently they just put new pipes on their car because they keep go tearing up and down. And it's not like I live in a big town. They've done uh, it. No, Garrett, most... that's the problem. You live in a town where people would do something like that. Well, the other thought I had is like how... Like there's no way they can keep pulling it off because... I live across the street from the former sheriff and now county guy, like, Christ, he's not, I mean, he's at least by the school there. Go wake him up. <laughs> it's not gonna, I shouldn't have to be the one to wake him up. He, sh he can hear it just fine himself. Well, maybe if he knows more than just him is fucking annoyed with it, then... Uh, I, he's, I don't think he has jurisdiction anymore because he's not this county any longer. He's... He's your county now, Joe. This would be the, the same cop that I know? That... No, 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 no. No, he's, uh, he's a, he's the county south of me. Or, uh, he's the county south west of us, where I used to deliver mail. I see. Okay, finally a Pidgey. I'm just running from Starlies now. This is terrible. Are they? Is it? They're hitting you with gust and fucking up no, your No, they're or not. What? No tackle. Oh, like they're just tackling. And oh my god, now the... they keep growling at me. I wish mine would just growl. But no, they tackle and they they get up. They get all my stuff into two. Oh no. Well, okay. There goes fucking Gonzo. So much so, dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, wow. what link was that? That's that's the Muppet. So that's Surskit and Azrael. Yep, Azrael and Starly. And Starly. <laughs> Jesus fucking gr grinding is fucking terrible here. Hell yeah, that's the fucking content we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> It'll oh, get better. Throw him in a box. One less mon to grind. Uh, I, that was doubled up on water anyway, and he didn't get huge power, so I'm not too depressed. Actually, this Pidgey's Jesus Christ. Actually, my whole fucking team is a problem right now. Yeah, the um, the flying type, not the best. Is the lake gonna be better for you to grind? Well, then there's Starlies. I don't know if they have flying moves. They they don't seem to have a flying move, but yeah. Yeah, let me check Holy mine before shit. I box it. Oh shit! And I never started recording. Oh yeah, well, tackle. whatever. It's not like I'm uploading anything anyway. Yeah, the Pidgeys just have tackle. The Pidgeys have gust. Or I mean the the Starlies. Sorry, the Starlies just oh, have okay, tackle. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that's what killed. Just got us a kill already. Yeah. Goodbye, Starly. At least I didn't start leveling you up. <laughs> I never got. I haven't got a single level on a Pokemon yet. Jeez. Like this is. Yeah. Really? I got. I got. Uh, well, okay. Was it because you were running like, a lot or what? Yeah. Well, I like I said, I'd kill one Starly and then have to go heal my entire team again. Right. I guess. Yeah. Like that I was getting built sure pretty can't. fast with Piplup. But yes, the experience share as soon as possible would be very nice. Yeah, we definitely get it before the first gym. I think it's actually after the upcoming rival fight. So if you want to just grind the starter, that might work, actually. Yeah, but I'm then the get, starter uh... has to take on their antithesis, so... No, 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 this is the other rival. So they have the starter that's weak to ours. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm doing that because, wow, this yeah. is... Just make sure your starter is nine or so, so that you can take the fair fight. Is that all she has? Yeah, is her starter? I'm pretty okay. sure. I'll scout it. I have my starter at 10. I'll go I'm just doing... Uh, I, my starter is at 9, and I'm getting uh, Eevee up to 9. But if it's... Uh, there we go. If it's just the starter, then I might just run in with the Eevee at 8, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting the rival fight right now. Yep, just one mod, Turtwig, level 9. Okay. I do not... Two shot it with Ember, which is rough, but it withdraw, so. Withdrew, so it doesn't matter. And I got the burn. God damn. Well, this is off to a fucking terrible start. What do you. I didn't record, so what are you at? Uh, 36 minutes. Oh. Okay, she does not give you the XP share. It's later on. That fucking. It might be the next town. Yeah, it's like they're being a little too generous at times, I fear. With sand attacking me. Yeah, I'm gonna get God. my Nidoran to like 9 or something, maybe, and go to the next area. We could also get... When you guys are ready to knock out the rival fight, we also get another encounter there, so... Cricketop, please don't kill me with mine. It just rolled over to dark and Huthoots popped up. Oh yeah, Is so it, you the, mentioned that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, the Pidgeys turned into Hoodoots, so the Pidgeys are gone now. Oh, <laughs> so I, I got the rare one. So if we would have waited just a little bit later, we would uh, dodge the death. If the Hoodoots don't have Peck or something, though. Yeah, that's true. I think they do get, they might get Peck, actually. Yeah. Actually, I can't remember. We want the death, Jesse. The death is the content. Yeah, it is good content. <laughs> the doof! Let me kill you. You dick. I'm smacking down a doof now myself. When do we go to the next the, uh... area? Whenever you guys are ready for the rival fight. The rival fight is before the grass. Yeah, I'm just, uh, one more fight and I'll have Eevee up to nine. Not that I'm gonna need to use him, but... What the fuck? Yeah, my starter's at ten, my Eevee's at five, and my Nidoran's at seven. Uh... Eevee just hit six. I'm gonna try and catch the Eevee up a little bit. That way I got a few mons to fight trainers on the next route with. I wouldn't rush too fast with the trainers. They're not like insane or anything, but they're stronger than base game, so don't underestimate the levels. All right, so Marty, we already have a death, and we haven't even seen a fucking trainer battle. Is that it? Yeah, got two mons at nine. I'm gonna heal. Starter back up front. Get with the growling. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. The early game grinding situation seems to kind of punish Turtwig. Yep. Fucking fires and bugs and and poison like just yeah pretty much everything set to fuck over turtwig it turned out 
Apparently they barely felt that uh, Bulbasaur had it too easy back when. Yeah. Well, we make it to the next town, you get a second starter, so. Oh, seriously? I think, I think it's the next town, yeah. I think it's Jubilife next. Which is a starter and an egg for a baby Pokemon. God damn. Well, at least they're generous with the encounters and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll it get seems it. like they are, I, I don't want to say over generous, but they're over generous. Yeah. I think it, they probably anticipate that this is a game that's meant going to be played by people who are probably in Nuzlocke and Hardcore and various other rules like that. Yeah, it's what it's intended as is it's intended as what's called an enhancement hack, where the goal is basically to give you every tool that's in the game in the course of playing it without having to like trade with people or do bullshit special events. You can complete a full Pokedex in one playthrough. Oh. So you actually get every starter. So what will what'll happen is we'll get a set of three starters and we'll box the two that we don't get to use. Damn. He even healed my Pokemon before she fought. Is this gonna be previous gen starters yeah, or yeah, we get we get every generation of starters. Oh damn. Uh that's at least can, that's a consolation. And you can uh, also right. go to the lab and get the other starters from this game. And get all oh. the starters right away too. Damn. But we won't be doing um, that, obviously. Right, right. I am I guess no reason not to take on the rival fight then? Yeah, if you're confident in your level. No, she scared me by critting me right away, but yeah, I beat her just now. Turtwig don't give a shit about crits. Oh yeah, shell armor. She gave me 30 Pokeballs. Oh, shit, yeah, they're really she good. She said, since this is an enhancement hack, here's 30 Pokeballs. <laughs> no, she didn't say that, but she did give me 30 Pokeballs. I wouldn't put it past her. It does have me talking to abs. These kids have total fucking seventies hair, dude. What it's like kids? It, in the Pokemon Center. I guess yeah, kids. They're they're the same height. Actually, they're taller than PC. So me just running into the grass up about it. <clears throat> Maybe okay, they're not you, kids. You guys have your encounters already for this next one? Nope, nope. I I ran into the grass and then left without getting an encounter because I realized what I, I was doing. Oh, I just four. ran into the grass and got an encounter because I didn't realize what I was doing. Okay. Okay. Uh, so get? the. Oh yeah, who's the radar? Radar for Route 202 is Houndour. Ooh, I'm trying for that. I. I'm very tempted to also try. I'm Might taking well. mine, uh, my encounter, because it's Growlithe. Oh, nice. Okay, and then yeah, what did I put for the roar claw? Oh, I got Growlithe. Damn. You just re-roll, I think, is what I said. Yep. Not me. Fucking fighting a growl with, with a turtwig. Fuck off. Oh, would he have had roar? Yeah, I think he has roar. managed to catch him. Okay, I get Radita. Damn. About as basic bitch as you can get. Radicate's the man. I love him. And you're resetting the poker radar? Yeah. Okay. And it didn't trigger anything that time. That was weird. I didn't even know it could do that. I only like, yeah, no. did it like twice. In testing, oh, maybe so. it shook that little tiny bit of grass that's up around the corner that oh, I can't maybe. get at. Okay, there we go. Come on, Hondar. Damn it, Hoothoot. I guess I could use a flying. All right, this was. But back I really to... wanted a Hondar, damn it. Is this back to Joe's nickname and theme? Yes. And the theme is actors or actresses. Okay. So, Growlithe. Who's the most dog or puppy like actor? Crap. It does have Peck. That ain't good, but. What's a rat related right actress? Oh, well, that works. What is her name? <laughs> oh, Rat Catcher from exactly. Suicide Squad? Yeah. That's a good one. Melchior, Charlie would know that one. Shit, her last name's Melchior. That's dope as fuck. <laughs> also, welcome, Eric. Hi, Eric. Uh, for for the dogliest, and this is not an insult to him. It's just that he he has a puppy type face. Um, Growlithe is John Candy. Nice. Yeah, I was gonna go with Buscemi, but it was a lady rat, so I'm like, oh, that doesn't work. Docile, neutral, nature, guts. All right. Not bad. In 
intimidate on my puppy dog, which I love. Oh, not tackle. Don't tackle. Oh, I may have just ruined everything. Okay, I didn't. Whole thing fucked. <laughs> Almost took out the encounters. Though. Oh, the, it yeah. growled you first, too. Which yep. Might Probably help. saved it. Yeah, I don't know if I... crits are 2x or 1.5. We'll have to figure that out. Okay. Okay. Male owl. I love Zigzagoon's graphic in this. He's a... Uh... Don't know what to call him. He's very, very uh, high, strong, and animated. So, fairy type was added. We have moves <laughs> that were removed and changed to fairy moves. So they can't add moves to the game, but they can change moves. Okay. And then fairy type was added by changing the question mark type from curse into a real Pokemon type, which works in the code, which is hilarious. There we go. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon base stats. Um, type updates as well for Fairy to match Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. <laughs> Wild Hell items match Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Eggs hatch extremely quickly. Um, and then Gen 7 abilities on Wingo, Pelipper, and Torkoal. So that's Drought and um, Drizzle. Okay. Um... Pelipper comes with a 5% chance at Lucky Egg. Absol is a 5% chance at Life Orb. Corsola is a 5% chance at Hardstone. And Spiritomb is... Guaranteed smoke ball. Of it got me something. I jacked poaching off of a zigzagoon. Nice. Yeah, I can't find anything about crits, so it's probably still 2x crits. That's fine. Uh... Has anybody fought the first trainer on this route yet? Negative. Uh, nope. I'm gonna get uh, Growlithe up to 9, I think, before I fight him. Fucking afraid to grind anything. I should have so. swapped. Please don't kill me. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> this sand attacking raccoon is pissing me off. Okay. I'm going to be running back to the Pokemon Center a lot. That that's going to be a lot of my content is running mm -hmm. back to the Pokemon yeah. Center. <clears throat> yeah, until we I still have a death. get the XP share and we get the grinding area, which is somewhere after the first gym, there'll be more grinding streams than uh, you might expect. Alright, there's my Eevee to 8. Maybe I'll try this trainer fight. How bad can it be? Eric, yeah. I think it's been a while since you joined us on one of these. It's been a while since I've talked to all of you guys. Well, it's good it's to have been you. avoiding us all this time. Yeah, I mean, we won't even cover the fact that you just obviously hate us. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't hide it forever. <laughs> Just had to take a break. It was nice yeah. of you to try. Oh, yeah, I have to <laughs> put on set mode still. Oh, yeah. I'll do set mode. I'll do that at least. Oh, my God. Shemp, your attack sucks after one growl. Good lord. I'm cooked. <laughs> no, decidedly no. God, that's gonna have to be. I'm definitely gonna do that if you don't, Joe. Is uh, uh, an NFL players round. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yep. Okay, the first trainer wasn't too bad. Uh, Love Light Eevee swept it. Some luck involved in that, but. I think the rival's like the gate check for the route, basically. If you beat the rival, you should be fine. Okay. Well, I will take my level 9 EV then and confidently go in and fight this trainer. Uh, I so, will hmm. is anybody grinding the Stooges? Uh, yeah. You're using Shemp? What about yep. you, Joe? Um, Mo, I have not used yet. Okay, so you're just using the EV in the starter right now? Right now, yeah, well, I'm also using Growlithe. Okay. Yeah, so basically, currently, the whole team is getting properly used. By one of us or another. Oof, 
Here yeah, we go. Covet on that Eevee getting stabbed, it's doing some decent damage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of working with my Stooge because of uh, Rock Gym. I figure having a by barrel isn't a terrible idea. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's probably going to be your uh, bread and butter there. Well, I mean, I'll lead with uh, Turtwig, but having him in the back pocket yeah, it's kind of the idea. It's like a five or mon gym or something, too. Oh, Jesus. It's actually not that bad, but uh, it is a large team. Yeah, I think the Stooges probably do go, because I'll have, hopefully, double kick on Nidoran to help out with that, too. Um, and currently, I'm the one who's struggling the most with the Rock Jam with the Fire Starter. Unless you get a fighting move by then. Although, how much you want to I risk that. I do get the know. evolution, but yeah, that's the problem, is I still die to... Um, rock moves but worst case scenario I take Vaporeon yeah, which, which is not bad at all you right. could do that uh, I'll switch you in yeah I think I'm going to leave the Rattata unleveled um, that's the most recent catch until I get the XP share and then I'll just XP share him and have him catch up that way. Yeah, I think that's going to be my plan with Hutu because that's a liability in the rock gym. Like, we we also do get water encounters coming up soon. Old Rod. Um, it, I looked at the docks. There is one fish for each of us, but one of us is going to be stuck with an unevolved magic card if we bring him to the gym. <laughs> that's yeah. Whoever's willing to play the long game. Yeah, well, it's whatever we fish up, so... Oh, true, true. The best way we can optimize it, which is, I think, still perfectly reasonably legal, is to see if Magikarp's the most common encounter and have the person who really needs a helpful water type not fish until the other people uh, have. That's a good idea. Yep. Yep. And I'm so... fine on having a water starter, so if you guys want oh, yeah. to go first, I can go first. You can go first or I can go first. So basically, it's, yeah, we leave the good... We get a magic carp off the table for Jesse. Yeah, yes. Because I, I yeah, <laughs> could definitely use something that can actually contribute in the gym. Yeah, as good, as, good as it would be in the long Gyarados run to have Spider. a Gyarados. So. Kind of rooting for Joe to get it. Because me and Joe can just both go. Because one of us has to get it. Yeah, it's... it's. Let's check the encounters. The other one, one of them is Finneon. Not great either. But... I mean, Finneon can attack. That, that's all I swept in testing. I had a Finneon, I swept the gym with it. So I'm perfectly happy to get it if that's what my fishing counter ends up being. And that was literally the last thing I did was test the rock gym. So after that, I'm blind. Um, I forget what this route is because it's the weird one that's off to the side. Is it a new encounter already? No, I'm just checking it planning purposes. It's Magic or Finny on Star You, I think. 60% Magic or 30% Finny on 10% Star You. Well, I'm rooting for Joe to get the Star You because I know he likes them. Yeah, I so, do love so Star You. I can fish last. So this this cave and you can get stones in it. Yep. I can like you can just get any number of stones. One oh, stone. The, I see what you're, what you're thinking yeah. about the Arcanine. Yeah, yeah, you do, huh? Oh shit! I, I might leave Eevee unevolved for that reason. The... But is it a good idea to early evil Arcanine? Doesn't you yeah, yourself over so that's on what moves? I was gonna say. Is I don't think the move sets are changing the way that that works. Good. You said what? Uh, Ultra Sun Ultra Move move set? Uh, yeah. Move table? I mean, maybe Ultra Sun is when they change that over to not. Uh, Let's check it out. Because, yeah, honestly, I think I agree with that um, decision, potentially. I guess the only downside will be the question of how long it is to get another stone, and then you're stuck carrying uh, an Eevee around if the rest of us really want to use our evolved Eevees. Oh, right, right, because I wouldn't be putting it in my team by choice then. Yeah. Oh, um, no, yeah. I get totally fucked on moves if I do that with Arcanine, so... Okay. That's also a weird that. thought of, like, who gets to make those decisions? 
That's, we we come to a consensus. Okay, that's that's a rough one. I just realized. Oh, yeah. it's gonna be part of the content. I mean, worst case scenario, if we end up in a situation where we really cannot come to an agreement, everybody can pick two team members. Wait, what? How does that work? <laughs> so, six mods on a team, we each pick two. Oh. Yeah, I guess. That doesn't seem like a good way to approach it, though. That could be painful. Yeah. God, I'm almost starting. I mean, even ever since we got into the, I didn't realize we were gonna stick with the uh, the boxing rule. Just that I thought it was just gonna be death rule. Like, man, this could be more harmful for our camaraderie than <laughs> the races have. Yeah, we could end up hating each other. No, but it's I, okay. I, it'll be. <laughs> Never talking again. It's a team building Wait. exercise, you know. Too late yeah. for that. that. That's not gonna work. Damned bird just fucking put me to sleep. Now I'm gonna switch in, and he's gonna somehow use hypnosis again. No, he used peck. It's fucking getting crits on me, That's you son of scary. a bitch. Don't use hell. Jeez. Okay, there we go. Wait, what level? This might be a problem. I forgot. I don't remember what level by barrel evolves. This might not even be valid. Level 15, thank fuck. Okay, just in time. You will get it before the beginning. Double kick on Larry. Sick! Hell yeah, Larry! Oh, oh yeah, Fury Attack is still fucking ass. Okay, good. Goodbye, Fury Attack. Well, not good, but... Going from fucking rooting for all of Jesse's Pokémon to die, to <laughs> having to root for them. <laughs> and we can get really mad at Jesse for doing sack mons. Yeah, yeah you're, you're gonna have to play a little more careful than usual, Jesse. Or just piss us off. Whichever yeah. one works. Well, there's no restrictions on uh, setup moves and whatnot, so... Nope. You get to go crazy on strats. Yeah, you get to fully invest. That asshole fucking roared at me. So yeah, we actually really want to root for Jesse's Mind Palace mode this time. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, and with the upcoming rival fight, we'll have to decide if we want to do our boss fights simultaneously or if we want to take turns and watch out how other people's play before we make our own plays. Rival can... fight is before the gym? Yeah, there's a rival fight um, when you leave Jubilife City to the, to the east. Don't go out to the east. You can go to the north, you can go to the west, but if you go to the east, it's a fairly tricky rival fight. What Don't... levels? Um, I don't remember offhand, but I think it's like 10 or something like that. I can check the docs. But it's the first boss fight in my mind. The first fight to prep for. My my vote is, because we're doing the whole emphasis is Link and Soul Link. I, I say simultaneous. Okay. Yeah, I agree. if we did it in turns, the deaths would apply simultaneously after the fight is done. But uh, 10, 10, and 11... Leads with a Starly, has a Munchlax in the back, and then the starter. The Wait, Munchlax it, scares me. Yeah. Wait, the rival's team is only levels 10 and 11? Yeah. yeah and the, the gym fight is 16? Yeah, yeah. But the, the Marfman fight is at the start of the route, and then there's the cave afterwards, and then the other cave afterwards. So there's a fair bit of other routes before the gym. Okay. So 11 for the ace, I think, makes sense. Yeah, Wish so, I had a fighting move for that Munchlax. Yeah, and don't underestimate the Starly either, I don't think. I think that No, Starly's hit like a fucking freight train. That's the whole thing. Wish I, I had a back. rock move for that Starly. But we get three more encounters before that fight. Okay. We, we get... Ooh, what, oh, did I, okay. what did I just steal from the Zigzag? I do have the ability to intimidate as well, which is nice. That'll probably help you just walk the Starly. I'm sorry, we get four encounters, because we get the egg, too. I stole yeah, a as I assume there's going to be a significantly higher amount of deaths than we're used to in this run, so I'm, I'm happy with the tons of encounters. Yep. Alright, 
I'm in the next city, but we're just about done with this episode. I haven't even fought the first trainer yet. Not a problem. Right. Yeah, again, this even is... A... For our linking up, I mean, us moving up closer to caps, I mean, we have plenty of fucking mons to switch in to do grinding, so there's not going to be any, like, delay where we're not doing anything. I don't think that's going to hold up. I think I'm going to be, as I told you guys, really holding you back. It, it's going to be fine, because it's going to be little little delays here and there. Because we'll little. keep resync and, re we'll resync in the run, so it's fine. Have, have you met me? Like, the rest of us can spend a little bit of time grinding up some other mons a little bit more than you are or something. Like, if you don't grind the hoodoo, but we do grind our other one, whatever. It, it'll work out. Yeah, that's like the thing I'm least worried about. Yeah. To be honest. And we can scout, like, search for items in the towns and stuff while we wait. That's exactly what I was doing right now, because, like, as much shit as they're giving us, uh, some of these NPCs are going to be giving you, like, extra shit. Yeah. You have to let me know if that actually is true, though. Yeah, no, we'll definitely tell you where to go for items. If they are. I'm not, I'm not expecting to give other items. They just seem to be giving us key items early as opposed to late like i found the one guy that gave potion there there's the there's other bush. changes like the guy you so when you get the old rod you're also given a bunch of dive balls that's not a base mm. game thing that's a pretty big game right but that's from the same guy that's not a new person to go and find no you, you're right it, it might not be new people although we did see barry's dad who unless there was an event with him that they just triggered to add that is a new npc uh, heads up, the news lady that gives you a quiz. Yes. Also, yeah, I'm fighting her right now. <laughs> That's the starters. I was gonna mention that. And, okay. Uh, she beat me to it. So She's yeah, when... Cantro starters apparently, and is she gonna give me one after I beat her? She'll give you all three of them. Oh, I'll... and okay. then we pick one. Yeah. I got the quick claw. It's from the lady near the Pikachu in the condominiums near the exit to the north of the town. Cool. That would be good to have. It's gonna beat this Charmander. Yeah, and I'll also go ahead and then fight the starters. Okay. Um, we'll I'm have just... to decide at the end here which one to use, so we know which one to nickname. Sure. Uh, so whose turn was this on nicknames? I just went. Okay. Which makes it mine? Yeah. Yeah, because I think I have first. Okay, Kanto starters. Oh, we're going colors. Primary colors. <laughs> okay. So can I can I have the Bulbasaur? Yeah, I already got Turtwig, so... Yeah, that's fine by me. Jesse, I'll, I took first pick on the other ones with Turtwig, so you guys go. Okay, so I, I want Totodile. Are you going to fight Wait. me for Toto... Like, later on. La oh, later yeah, no, on. I'm 100% going to fight you on Totodile. Okay. But it depends on whose turn it is to kind of, like... Because now we, we started off... I took first pick Turtwig, because I took last... The way I see it is I took last in the, again in draft block. Then I mean, Joe I'll, just took first pick here. I'll take last pick on everything for Totodile. <laughs> but that just is... I think it works out in your favor, though. Because I assume... The Johto starters would be next, right? Uh, maybe. I don't, honestly don't remember. Uh, I can check if it's the documentation, they, actually. If they are, then you get Totodile. That's all there is to it. No, they're last. Oh, it, it goes well then. Sinnoh, Kanto, well, and Johto. So we'll see how the rotation goes okay. for you. Then. What do you want more? Do you want Grass Dragon Sceptile or Water Dark for Alligator? Um, Water Dark for Alligator because I have Turtwig. I would love Sceptile, but I have a good grass already. Alright, fine. <laughs> the <laughs> primary colors, um, the Bulbasaur's name is blue, so... You Wait, why, bastard! You didn't, you didn't say primary colors, you just said colors. No, I, just, I specified primary, primary, primary afterwards. You said primary that's, colors. That's yeah. stupid. Well, it's Pokemon Maybe. red, blue, green, yellow. <laughs> It's not as stupid as a Bulbasaur being named blue. Is yellow a primary color? Yeah. Yeah. Is it, uh, it's Roy G. Biv, right? Oh, yeah. The no, white. no, that Roy G. Biv is uh, primary the colors, colors of light. blue, red, yellow. B That's primary it? colors are yes. blue, red, yellow, green, orange, red, right? 
No, the, no there are three primary yellow. colors and they're red, oh, blue, and yellow. We're asking, we're asking Wikipedia. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm a hundred percent. So what are the colors that, what are Roy G. Okay, on the colors? Yeah, no, you're right. Red, are blue, primary. yellow are the primary colors. Okay. Those, those are rainbow colors. Yeah, those are all oh. the colors of the rainbow. Yeah. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I fucking love m mnemonics. Like it's the easiest way my brain remembers shit. Green, green, orange, and purple are secondary colors. Yeah, orange, green, and violet are, are secondary. You're right. I don't remember my fucking elementary school color theory because it's made up and not real. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like who does? Why are they the primary colors? Where is that decided? Like that's why I like Roy G. Boop, because like that's the color spectrum. That part I understood. I mean, there's it there's be there's based on the, on the visual spectrum, but pigment stuff. Or the vis it's sorry, yes, yeah, the visual reason. spectrum. Yeah. Uh, these guys do give you the the like mist water and charcoal well, and yeah, shit. It's so. based on how paint. Yeah, how yeah. Make sure you paint. strip down every starter you get for the held items. All right, so yeah, I'm taking Squirtle, and that leaves Scarlet with Charmander. Which works out really good, actually. And then I'll take Trico on the next one if nobody blocks me for the water grass fire core. Right. I'll, I'll fucking fight you. You're gonna fight me for Trico? For Trico? No. Um, I, but I do like like Trico, but I mean, punch you. You've never been a Trico like guy, so that's what surprised me. No, I I would want. Well, I mean, I don't care so much about the fire now that I have. Uh, Arcanine. Growlith, yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. you hopefully eventually have an Arcanine, yeah. No, I, I would not fight Jesse over it. Yeah, so you'll get the Mons one at a time, and then you can box the extras, and then you can go back and talk to him if you didn't have enough party space for the other ones. Mm. I'm gonna grind a little bit, and... Well, grind up the doggy one more level, and then I am going to level up this Blubber Sore, because I'm... Happy, I didn't know I was going to be getting him. I'm so. going to name my Squirtle Red to continue the theme of it being awful. Thank so. you. So I have Yellow yeah. the Charmander? Yeah. That's you know, I'm bad. more okay with it. Yeah, that one's at least close to not being <laughs> dumb. Why couldn't you have just gone colors? Like, you have so many more options then. Because I wanted the Pokemon Gen 1 theming. Yeah, well, and because Jesse knew <laughs> that I was going to do something stupid. I and, did not or, know or you were going to do that. So. Subconsciously, you knew. <laughs> maybe, so. maybe, maybe, maybe. Right, Red the turtle. I think blue is a fantastic name for a Bulbasaur. It, it actually, no. he's blue, so I mean. Uh, his graphic is blue. More oh. blue or blue-green than it is green. All right, That's red. teal. You're describing teal. Rain, teal is the rain word dish. that I was for. Rain Thank dish you. on my turtle. That's really interesting. I didn't interesting. Look to see. Let's see what he got. Plus defense, minus special defense. Rain I dish. got overgrow, damn it. You'll get the next one, apparently. Uh, maybe, I hope so. All right, well, uh, let's wrap this episode up. All right, I'm just about done with the trainer. Let's wrap this episode up. You mean finish it with a wrap? Yo, we went into what is a city called? <laughs> Jubilife. Jubilife. I hope it doesn't cause me too much strife. I got a Bulbasaur. Check it out. His name is Blue. I hope he doesn't get fucking screwed. Excellent. There you go.